Let's take a look and see. So, Seema, what's interesting on this page? What is Triton? We talked a bit about clusters yesterday, but maybe let's actually um, hear yeah. some more about it. Yeah, so Triton, uh, like we talked yesterday, is an HPC cluster, so high-performance high computing cluster. And what it entails is that it's basically like a huge bunch of different computers uh, uh, like that are connected with this fast network, and they share a fast file system uh, that they, everybody can access. And the access to the compute nodes, as they are called, like these co computers that are designed to handle the computations, uh, is through the login node. Uh, there are other ways also, like the Jupyter and stuff like that, but the main way of getting there is through the login node. And because like the system is very big, there's lots of these different nodes and there are different kinds of nodes. It's a heterogeneous uh, system. So we have various different kinds of nodes with various features and various uh, possibilities. Uh, because it's such a big system or uh, so complicated system, there has to be a way of organizing work in the, um, in the system itself, like how who runs everything, uh, who runs and what. If you would have like, a, let's say, a shared uh, server or shared machine where 400 people could just run whatever they want, it would end up in anarchy. Basically, everybody would compete of the same resources and nobody would get stuff done. Yeah. So as an example, there's these shell servers for students where they can run code, but there's no, uh, there's none of this batch system. So anyone who needs to run stuff can use the whole system. So you can have 10 people trying to use the whole computer and then no one gets anything done. And it's even worse because since people are contending for the resources, it's basically less efficient than if everyone requested only a small fraction of it in the first place. And when we are talking about resources, we're talking about what we talk, talked in yesterday. So CPU time uh, or time itself, <laughs> uh, CPU, uh, number of CPUs, uh, RAM, so uh, random access memory that the uh, applications will use and, uh, uh, and possibly GPU resources. So these like, uh, compute cards or access to these compute cards and everything is calculated based on like time uh, so so one hour of cpu time is is a resource uh, so all of this is is like uh, is handled by a queue system like richard said this batch system also known as queue system so we have this kind of a, a queue where people can submit their requests for resources. And when the submissions are available somewhere in the uh, cluster, they are run there. So we have this Slurm queue. There are other queues in uh, other clusters, uh, such, such as PBS and Cray queue and all kinds of stuff, but we have a Slurm queue. CSC also has a Slurm queue and all of the uh, Finnish affiliate uh, universities, all of them, um, have Slurm queues as well. So the basic queue structure is the same or how do you use the system is the same. Uh, mm -hmm. There might be differences in configuration and some of the flags or these kinds of instructions that you need to give to the queue. They might be a bit different, but basically there is similar kind of a queue system everywhere. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see. Anything else? We talked about a lot of this other stuff yesterday. So the skills, the getting help. So should we go to live examples then?